What comes to mind first when you imagine North Korea or Iran? In this video, we will learn about how nuclear weapons work. Sometimes we see friends having anger issues. What happens when the world is filled with such friends? We often hear about a material called the uranium. Just as there are many different breeds of dogs, there are many different kinds of uranium. Representatively, there is uranium-238, the most common and mild in character. On the other hand, there is a guy named uranium-235, which is lighter and has anger issues. Let's take a look at the characteristics of uranium-235. When a small particle called neutron hits uranium-235, it splits and releases two or three neutrons in energy. Now, imagine a lot of uranium-235 within a narrow space. A neutron coming out from a uranium-235 will make other uranium friends angry, and this chain of action will release a lot of energy. This process we call nuclear chain reaction. In general, uranium-235 is present in natural uranium minerals in very small proportions of about 0.7%. We can artificially increase the proportion of uranium-235 to roughly 3%, control their anger properly, and make it useful to humans. This is what we know as nuclear energy. Processes for increasing the proportion of uranium-235 is called uranium enrichment. So, what happens if we enrich uranium-235 up to 90%? It can be used for a nuclear weapon. Let's see how to make nuclear weapons with uranium. To make a nuclear weapon with enough explosive power, we need about 20 to 50 kilograms of highly enriched uranium. First, in a cylindrical tube, divide this highly concentrated uranium in half and place it at both ends. At one end, a source of neutrons that upsets uranium is placed, and at the other end, an explosive is placed. Once the explosives explode, the uranium flies off and coalesce with the other, and at the same time, neutrons upset them, causing a nuclear chain reaction. It's like a process that fires a gun, so these uranium-based nuclear weapons are called gun-type nuclear weapons. Besides uranium, there is another material that we hear a lot, which is plutonium. Plutonium is a material that does not exist in nature. Then, where are they? The answer is inside the nuclear power plant. Before discussing plutonium, we must know the characteristics of uranium-238. When a neutron approaches it, uranium-238 often just eats it. Then, after having a neutron, uranium-238 changes over time into various substances as it digests the neutron. One substance that arises from this process is plutonium-239. After generating electricity in a nuclear power plant, there are many kinds of materials in nuclear spent fuel. In these various substances, plutonium can be chemically separated, and this separation process is so-called reprocessing. And with the reprocessed plutonium, we can make nuclear weapons. Let's talk about the characteristics of plutonium. Compared to uranium-235, it is heavier in weight and has more severe anger control issues. While uranium-235 gets angry after thinking about the situation, plutonium is a guy who punches first before thinking. Because of this characteristic, plutonium cannot be used for gun-type nuclear weapons. Since plutonium gets upset faster than uranium does, it releases anger very rapidly a very early stage. Therefore, nuclear weapons often break down before fully burning up the plutonium fuel. This phenomenon is called fizzle. If nuclear fizzle occurs, it is hard to get the explosive power that the weapon designer wanted in the first place. To overcome this problem, plutonium-based nuclear weapons are designed in the form of spheres, called implosion-type nuclear weapons. First, put plutonium in the center of a spherical nuclear weapon, about 8 to 12 kilograms, and a neutron source in the center. On the spherical outer surface, attach explosives. When the detonation starts from this external explosive, the shock wave transmits pressure to the central plutonium. While under pressure, neutrons upset plutonium and, through a nuclear chain reaction, a nuclear explosion occurs. 
Unlike gun-type nuclear weapons, explosive pressure can be delivered quickly and strongly from all sides, applying enough pressure to hold the plutonium until it is completely burned, thus solving the problem of fizzle. Now, shall we wrap up? The kinds of uranium that are our main concern are uranium-238 and uranium-235. Uranium-235 has anger issues and is present in natural uranium minerals in a small proportion of 0.7%. Through enrichment, it can be used in nuclear power plants by increasing its proportion to approximately 3% and by 90%, it can be used in gun-type nuclear weapons. There are many kinds of materials in spent fuel, and one of them is plutonium. Through the process of reprocessing, plutonium can be chemically separated, and because of its exceptional anger issue, plutonium is used in implosive nuclear weapons. Thank you for your time.